Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Here we are in a newly generated world, but no, I'm not here to start a new Let's Play. Not here to just uh, take in the scenery. I'm basically here just to give my thoughts on the whole recent event thing with Minecraft being bought by Microsoft. A couple people have asked for my thoughts on this, and I was actually planning on doing a video just yesterday. I wasn't able to due to uh, workloads and things, but... Here I am today, one day late I know, but hopefully that won't make a big difference in things. Oh, look at all those chickens. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the whole situation. This is probably going to be a pretty short video because, I mean, there's not a whole lot. Wow, this is, I might want to keep this world. It looks really cool. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Um, basically, I think that a lot of people are overreacting to it, and... I may have overreacted a little bit at first too, but um, you know, now that I kind of know the situation a little bit better, I could more easily form a, I think, a, what is a better opinion on things, because you know, I just have more uh, things to support my opinion, I guess. So yeah, this is a pretty cool overhang thing. But um, anyway, I'm a little bit upset about what happened. I mean, obviously, most people see this whole thing as not the best thing in the world that could have happened, uh, to say the least. You know, um, Notch selling out to Microsoft, which, you know, went against some of the principles that he publicly said, and uh, he himself said he had no good response to that. But you know what? I think he... I kind of support his decision. I mean, first of all, it's it's his. He could do whatever he wants to it. You know, he could sell it if he wants. It's, you know, th that's fine. And... Second, you know, just the thing that's made him sell is kind of sad, really, and it's, you know, it's a little bit, um, I don't know, that's one of the things I'm most upset about is why this whole thing happened, and basically, he sold to Microsoft because he had been getting a lot of hate, and, you know, just this whole thing with uh, Notch being famous and Minecraft being huge, that's not something he really saw coming, and I guess he wasn't really ready for that because just the amount of hate he has been getting just you know over the direction he took the game when he was still developing and also even now with the the eula changes like people were blaming him for that which he had nothing to do with it and he was just getting a ton of hate and you know that that sucks you know uh that you know the guy who created this great game just gets so much hate for it and you know people just don't realize that I mean, for the EULA anyway, he had nothing to do with that. I mean, people being upset with the changes he made while he was here makes sense, but I mean, there's no reason to hate the guy for it. I mean, it's just a game. And, you know, this guy, he's been getting death threats, and that's a little bit freaking ridiculous. That's not cool, you know? I mean, think of, think of it this way. You know, he sold because he didn't want to have to deal with that. You know, he wants to basically not be so publicly famous, I guess, anymore, and, you know, I don't want to, you know, speak for him and put words in his mouth, but that's my interpretation of it anyway, so not saying that this is, you know, the facts or whatever, but anyway, uh, yeah, he just doesn't want to be, you know, have all this fame and stuff, and because I read this post that he typed up and, uh, or sent out, I wish I had the link to it. If I could find it, I'll put it in the description so you guys can read it. Um, basically, Notch's uh, say on all this stuff. And he had mentioned that, you know, he, if he did this again, and he had a project that started to take or gain traction like Minecraft did, that he would abandon it pretty much immediately, which is pretty sad. But, you know, he, he just wants to code and develop games for the fun of it. You know, he this never really was meant to be the success it is, and the thing that changed the games industry in the way it did but you know that's what it did and I'm sure he's grateful for for that and you know just everything that's happened but when it comes to a point where you're not really getting much out of it other than hate you know why wouldn't you sell it you know I completely understand why he did it and the you know imagine this imagine that there's like millions of people out there screaming at you yelling at you you know hating you you know telling you to die or whatever that's horrible man i mean of course he's gonna sell i mean th you know if someone offers you two and a half billion dollars which i don't know how much euros that is or whatever but i guess that's not really the point here um you know to basically just say hey uh, well we'll we'll take this off your hands you can just walk away and you know I would pay, or I would um, take that deal, $2.5 billion, so that, you know, 
basically you wouldn't get, you know, you wouldn't have to keep dealing with everything anymore and you wouldn't be associated with it anymore. And, you know, it's just not something you'd really have to worry about. I mean, you know, that's kind of a no brainer on his part. So I'm kind of glad he did it. And I'm happy for him that, you know, he was finally able to do this because it seems like he kind of, um, I don't want to say gave up, but sort of gave up. I don't really know what other words to say, but that's just word choice there, you know, on the whole thing. And I'm glad that he's finally able to, uh, get, you know, basically complete that process. And, you know, he's moved on, he's going to be doing other things and, you know, he's going to live his life happy with all that money. Oh man, he's got a, he's got a lot of money now. He, you know, I'm, I'm just happy for him. So good on you, Notch. Not mad at you. So really kind of glad this happened in a way, but, you know, just upset that it happened for the reasons that it did. So, yeah, other than that, I think, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. Um, you know, just overall, you know, my, everyone sees Microsoft as, oh, they're going to ruin Minecraft. You know, it's going to be terrible. There's nothing good that could come out of this. I don't necessarily agree with that or think that's going to be the case. And here's why. You know, Microsoft, that's pretty cool, <laughs> weird tree, Microsoft is a company that is very rich and very powerful, and people see that as, oh, they're just greedy, and they are, you know, Microsoft is a greedy company, in my opinion, anyway, I think they are, I mean, God, the, the prices they charge for, you know, Microsoft Office and Windows, but um, that's not the point, and also what they did with the Xbox and the whole Kinect thing, and you know, tr making people buy that. They don't have the best history, and I could definitely understand why people would, you know, be very afraid and, you know, upset about them buying it. You know, if, if it was anyone else or, you know, maybe someone else would have or could have done something better with Minecraft. And that may be true, but we'll never know because Microsoft owns it now. But I definitely see how people are thinking that. But here's the thing. While they are rich and powerful and can be greedy sometimes, they also aren't stupid. You know, they can look at Minecraft as, you know, they can see what has made it successful and with, you know, YouTube and just a community and basically they can look at that and they could either just throw it all away and then ruin Minecraft and they'll get very little out of it or they can look in the long term and say, hey, how do we strengthen this community? Or how can we make things better? You know, they're, and I'm saying you know a lot, I'm sorry, but I am not a speech giver or a speaker on this stuff. I'm trying my best here. Uh, but anyway, I think they're going to look in the long term and kind of see how they can make improvements and change things in positive ways and take the game in a new but positive direction. Um, just, you know, if they were to look at it in the short term, you know, like I said, they would just kind of ruin it. And I don't think they'll do that. So the thing is, changes are on the way for sure. But I think they're going to be for the better for the most part. Obviously, it's not going to be one way or another completely. It's not going to be all good. It's not going to be all bad, though. I think that looking at this game, what makes it successful, the community, it, it is the community that makes this game. It's basically our game. And... That's another thing Notch mentioned in his post that, you know, this is our game. You know, they may have made it happen, you know, with the actual coding and working and improving and fixing and upgrading and updates and everything and the launcher and all that. But this is our game. If we weren't an active community supporting this game as much as we possibly could, there's no way this game gets this big. It just doesn't happen. The community made this happen. You know, obviously... I'm not trying to say that the community is fully responsible for Minecraft success because that is not true, but it is, I think, plays a huge role in the success of Minecraft. Definitely. I mean, there's just only so much you can do by actually making the game and putting it out there because a lot of people do that. You see tons of indie, uh, indie devs out there putting their games out and they don't really get that big sometimes. Sometimes they're, you know, I mean, that doesn't mean they're bad or anything, just, you know, they haven't really gotten that big. For example, I played tons of indie games that, you know, I get some, from Steam and stuff, and I think Don't Starve is one of, one of my favorite ones, and it is such a great game, but it's not 
nearly as big as Minecraft. You don't see this following anywhere else, really. I mean, even for AAA games, you don't really see this following elsewhere. But for Minecraft, you, you know, that's what you get when you have such a positive community. I mean, overall, this is a very positive community that has worked together to help this game become very popular and prosperous, and I don't think Microsoft could possibly take that away from us. So if we stay together as a community and stay positive, this game will go in new directions. Because, I mentioned before, Microsoft is rich and powerful. They can use all that wealth and power to make Minecraft something that Mojang never could. I mean, you know, not saying that I would rather have Microsoft behind it or anything, but they have more money than Mojang, and they have more power and influence than Mojang. I mean, and that's to be expected. Microsoft is is this huge corporation, and Mojang is just kind of something that Notch created because of Minecraft, actually. Uh, or at least I think it was because of Minecraft. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you look at it that way, just, you know, now, now our game has all this power behind it, and that can be used to do a whole lot of good for the game. I mean... This game is not optimized, it needs a lot of work, and, you know, optimization is obviously one of the things that come to mind first, but in terms of actual gameplay and things that are going to happen, like multiplayer-wise with the EULA, and just, I, I don't know, I, I just think that, you know, we can look at this as a positive thing, it doesn't have to be negative, because, you know, we're still a community, and that's always going to be true about this game, no matter... Who owns this game, or who's working on it, or what they do with it. You know, we have a community of millions of people who are really dedicated to this game, and rightfully so, because this game has changed so many lives for the better. I mean, when I look at me, I've met so many people through this game that I wouldn't have before. Uh, I couldn't be grateful enough for that. I have done so many things that I never thought I would do because of this game, basically. I wouldn't be doing YouTube if it weren't for this game, because I didn't know YouTubing was a thing until I heard about this game. Um, so, um, ooh, a Mesa. Cool. So that's just a few things, I guess. Um, I think that we should all try to stay positive, optimi or cautiously optimistic is, yeah, that was going to make sense, sort of. Just, you know, cautiously positive about the game, and that's going to kill me. I don't want to die. Not this video. Uh, but I think that this doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, just people kind of make it out to seem like the worst thing that could possibly happen. And it really isn't. It really isn't. You know, so many worse things could have happened. I mean, seriously, what if EA bought Microsoft? Or EA bought Microsoft? Oh, gosh, that's scary, too. But what if EA bought Minecraft? You know, that would be... That would be something to be frightened about. I'm, okay, and all jokes aside, I mean, we all know EA's bad, that's the joke there, but... Yeah, I just think that people are severely overreacting to this, and they're not really taking the time to look at this as, you know, this could be a very positive thing for the game. We don't know yet. We're going to find out pretty soon, because like I said, changes will happen. Uh, I'm just hoping for the best, though. So, I mean, that's basically my thoughts on this. Can't really think of anything else I wanted to say. I've been rambling for a little while here. 13 minutes, wow, that's way longer than I should have. And a lot of that was, okay. But anyway, I'm going to also try to find that link to the post that Notch made. And, you know, I think we should all just, you know, thank Notch for creating this game in the first place. And, you know, not hate the guy for doing what probably is the right thing. I mean, it's the right thing for him. It might even be the right thing for the game. So I think that, you know, just lay off Notch, let him leave him be, you know, thank him for, you know, helping us get to where we are today with the game. And just, he, d he doesn't deserve the hate he's getting. He really doesn't. And neither does anyone else in Mojang or Microsoft. You know, Microsoft hasn't done anything bad to us yet, so you can't just be hating them just for Minecraft just to hate on them for Minecraft. You can hate them for other things that they've done, because that's, you know, that's on the table, that's valid. But you can't hate them for buying Minecraft yet, because they haven't done anything. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for me for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed 
uh, listening to my thoughts for whatever reason, I don't know, um, you know, for people who wanted to hear it, and, you know, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this, you know, before or after listening to me, it doesn't really matter, I guess, just, I want, I'm interested to see what you guys think, because everyone I've talked to about this has had something different and, you know, has made good points to make about this situation, so I'm kind of looking forward to what you guys have to say. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for me for today. Thank you all for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.